Multifamily has been the most dependable. There's a thing called a sharp score, okay? The least amount of risk with the highest return, multifamily apartment buildings like Jeff is talking to you guys about has had the best return since 1945, by the way, 70 year trend. Rents have continued to go up. And this is not real estate. Like, like this is not the brick home that you guys live in, the 7,000 square foot home. This appreciation is not based on your neighborhood. This appreciation is based on rents going up. And as rents go up, the value of this property goes up. So number one, you get the leverage. Number two, you get the appreciation. And number three, you guys, you're making 400 grand, 500 grand a year. You need to offset your income with big write-offs. ETFs don't have it. Crypto doesn't have it. Mutual funds don't have it. Treasury bonds don't have it. That piece of real estate right behind me has more uh, depreciation, bonus depreciation, tax write-off advantages to you as a group of people than any other loophole, if you will, other than your own practice. We don't even, we don't even register that when our training, you know, it's just like, how much can you make? How much can you make? You're like, you're working harder, not smarter. Yeah. You know? Now the last one, the last piece is the passive income. Okay. This property, this property that Jeff's showing you 500 grand should pay you on the low side, $25,000 a year. When the rents go up, maybe 50,000 a year, passive income. How many patients do you need to see a year to pick up another 50,000? And you're like, well, 50,000, 60,000, 40,000, 30,000, that's not, not a lot of money. You got to remember your capital is protected. You have a $2 million investment. You're being paid to own, you're being paid money to own a $2 million investment, waiting for it to go to three, four, five, six million dollars. But the, you didn't you didn't talk about the, the the main point of this right here. You don't have to have somebody complaining to you or coughing on you or throwing up on you to get this. <laughs> yeah, know? exactly. You unless unless you try to do this yourself. Yeah. And, and this is this is where this is a good point because this is where the doctors, this is why they stay out of real estate. I don't want anybody calling me. I already got patients calling me. Okay. I don't want a tenant calling me about toilets, termites, bed bugs. I don't need it. So you guys shouldn't, you shouldn't do it. You should not go out and buy your own real estate. You should find someone that's buying real estate that's a professional. Any different than I shouldn't pull my own teeth. I shouldn't work on my own cavities. I shouldn't do my own heart procedures. You know, I shouldn't do my own colostomies or colonoscopies. I should not do all that stuff. I should come to you and let you do it. And you guys should take your money and invest with a real estate partner that you trust, somebody that's buying deals, that believes in the market, that knows how to operate these deals. And it's a no brainer, man. This thing has been, I started with three grand in case your audience doesn't know my story. I started with $3,000.